So, ladies and gentlemen, so everyone, um, Goosebumps just had a new TV spot, and I just watched it, and some of it, I was, some of it was interesting, and shit the hell, man, some of it was interesting, I think the Barking Ghost is the poodle, I'm just speculating, the Barking Ghost might actually be the poodle, I'm not sure, but yeah, it was crazy as frick. That was just like evolution where it was that cutie pie. And then as soon as the cutie pie showed his tongue, it was like, oh my god. <laughs> oh man, they got us good. And they got, that was good, actually going to be good too if they would have kept that under wraps. But you know how it is. Sometimes they leak stuff. So the amazing part is that the abominable snowman i guess it was a abominable snowman but instead of calling it abominable snowman they just say the snowman which i'm like wait a minute what that does not make sense i mean technically they already have a freaking damn snowman bad guy have you ever read the fifth book beware the snowman the f i mean the 50th book that was a good one i was hoping that that or maybe it was 51 but anyways, that was a good book. That book I was hoping would turn into a Goosebumps episode. Sadly, it didn't. But that was like one of the ones I was like, ooh, 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 ooh. if this turns into a Goosebumps episode, this would have been awesome to check out. That would have been freaking damn awesome. But yeah, there's somewhere they never actually got become episodes. I guess the last thing to talk about is freaking damn Slappy. So apparently they... Like in the book, I already made a video about the books you can get based on a movie. They apparently already leaked that little part of where you actually get to see the scene where it's like, oh no. And it's like, oh yeah. Um, well, number one, in the book it technically said, hello, papa. But in this one, it's like, oh yeah. So maybe it was a cutout. I'm not sure. But... The worst part about it is just the fact of the Slappy's voice. Now, Slappy's voice isn't scary at all. It's kind of like what happened with the first Slappy. The first Slappy, I've heard that, you know, and this was like at the premiere night. Because I remember at night, they did Night of a Lemon Dubbing 2, even though I thought it was the first one. So at night, they did it at 8 p.m. And of course, he had that goofy freaking voice. Which, I didn't get to hear it, but I can hear it from odds and ends. Yeah, you can type that up on YouTube and you can find that little spot. Maybe I'll have it down in annotations. But still, yeah. This voice of Slappy, it's not scary at all. I would actually most than anything say, Dude, get the person who voiced Slappy before. Get the one that was good and scary saying, You will be my slave. <laughs> God, yeah. I mean, seriously. That would have been awesome if you got the original actor. Well, technically the second, the best Slappy person to ever voice him. The best person to ever voice Slappy. But instead, you got this stupid guy. And like I said in the books, you rose my intimidation a little bit. But with that voice you just chose, you just shot it back down to basically say, Dude, I could punt him like a freaking damn football and I wouldn't be afraid. Good job. Good job, idiots. Whoever cast his voice. Good freaking damn job. But of course, we'll just see what happens in the movie. In the movie, and I watch it, and it turns out the voice is okay, decent. Then I'm like, okay, cool, they did. But of course, for right now, as speculation, that voice sucks. That voice does not intimidate me. Slappy the living dummy. The living dummy. Post the freaking damn intimidate you. His voice is supposed to freaking freak you out. In this one, instead of his voice freaking you out, it's more the fact of his voice is like, Okay, what? That's your voice? Seriously? Dude, you might as well have... It's the I'm here to kill you. It's like, you, should, you might as well just freaking damn get a girl to voice him. You might as well just do that because he's not intimidating. That voice does not intimidate me at all not unless he has octave on him yeah if he has some octaves okay but still that's more creepy in the fact of you don't have continuity in it instead of creepy as in what we want i mean if you yeah it's like close to the end of it or close to halfway and you have slappy change his voice to intimidating it's more continuity error than anything seriously man but 
hey, go ahead and check out that TV spot for yourself. And most likely I'll rewatch it because I kind of missed some. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.